Hi, good morning and welcome to the Mount. Now, Nick and I have actually just moved to Mount Monganui. After living in the South Island for six months, we were living in Queenstown. We just drove from the South Island to the North Island and today we're finally exploring our new stomping grounds, I guess. So we're starting at Little Guy, that's the coffee shop right behind me. So let's go check it out. We heard that they have like New York style bagel sandwiches, which they do. They have like bacon and egg and all sorts of different kinds. They actually do have a vegan one, but they were out today. So I just got an everything bagel with jam, which I, at first I was like, mm, maybe not, but it is delicious. And in the back area here, they have like a little garden with a couple little greenhouses that people can work and eat and hang out in. It's just so cute and it's such a beautiful day. So far, a really good start to the mount. Just walking around the mountain is so cute. There's all these like surf shops, restaurants, ice cream places, cafes. It's still the morning, so everything's still opening up, except for the coffee shops, of course. Those have been open for a few hours now. Lots of bright colors. People are starting to get out for the day. Oh, I love it here already. I feel like this is totally the type of energy that Nick and I love. And it's gonna be fun over the next few months to like get to know all these stores and get to know all these places. Now, since I didn't have a coffee at Little Guy, it's time to go find another one. Behind me is the Mount Surf Shop, and we heard that they have some coffee, so we are gonna go check out some surfboards and get some coffee. I'm gonna go fantasize about which surfboard I would pick, if even though if we had a million dollars, and also I'm opposed to surfing. I just I lived in Canada, so we don't really have a lot of places to surf. Who knows? I'm a skateboarder, so maybe I'd be good at surfing, but I don't think I am. We tried in Mexico, and pretty iffy. I don't usually do two coffees a day. I know it's a lot of caffeine. The shop itself is really cool. It kind of feels like a surf shop that's like centered around a little coffee bar. So they sell all kinds of surfboards, shortboards, longboards, as well as like wetsuits and things like that. And then lots of like cool clothes as well. It's a really cool centrally located little spot. One thing we've noticed here is that there are loads of fish and chip places, which makes sense because we're by the ocean. Behind me is Monganui Beach, which is the main beach here in Mount Monganui. And over to my right is Mount Monganui, which is where the place gets its name. Look at this though, oh my God, I'm so happy. We love the South Island, like we really did, but we really are beach people and being back by the water, it's really special. So Mount Monganui, the area is actually a protected reserve so that people can enjoy this area for generations to come. And actually there's like a lot of wildlife here. If you're lucky, apparently it's not uncommon to see dolphins swimming out at the ocean here and even orcas at the shoreline, which is, to me, that's crazy. Like we are from BC and I've never seen orcas just from the shoreline. Apparently that happens here. But oh god, I love the sunshine and I love the beach. And over here is Motoriki Island. There is a man-made uh, sand bridge right there. So let's walk over and see what it's all about. Wow, this is so cool. And there are all these trees. And then so right behind me obviously is the mount. And just down here you can kind of get a better view of all the surfers doing their thing. I always get so jealous when I see surfers, man. Something that I've always really wanted to learn how to do. I'm not sure if we're here for a long enough time for me to actually take lessons, but we do have a dream of one day moving to Portugal and I always imagine what it would be like to surf there. Look at this. One thing that I find more enjoyable than fishing is watching people fish. So because of some TikTok recommendations, we decided to get lunch here at Rice Rice Baby. Um, the other day we were talking about wanting bun mi and we got lots of recommendations online to come here. So here we are. First of all, the vibe is so cute. The plastic plates and cups, it's very reminiscent of Vietnam. Um, even like the plastic chairs and tablecloths, although everything is like super brightly colored and even this little water jug. I can't wait, I'm so hungry, so this is perfect. Starting with the crispy vegan wontons. Holy sh 
spring roll noodle salad. How stunning is that? And the tofu bun mi. This bun mi looks absolutely gorgeous. The bread is perfect, like so crispy and soft on the inside. It reminds me of eating this in Vietnam and Cambodia when we lived there. I used to get this like almost every day for lunch. We've noticed here in the North Island, there's a ton of tattoo and like piercing places all over the place. Maybe I should just go get a little tattoo. Just like a little tattoo. Not now. We'll get a little tattoo. I think we'll go get a tattoo. <laughs> Okay, even though we're so full from Rice Rice Baby, which was amazing by the way, like we will definitely be back. We had to stop here at Sea People Ice Cream. It's actually an all vegan ice cream shop here in the Mount. And what shocked me the most is that they have so many flavors that like a lot of places nowadays do have a plant-based ice cream option, but this because it's all plant-based, there's so many different flavors. Like they had peanut butter, espresso brownie, had mint chocolate chip, which actually since stopping eating dairy, how many years ago now? Four years ago. I've been vegetarian for like 12 years but only stopped eating dairy about like four years ago and I've not yet ever had a vegan mint chocolate chip ice cream and it comes in a little waffle cone as well. So we walked to the other side of Mount Monganui Road and we found Pilot Bay as the name suggests is a bay so it looks like this is where everyone parks their sailboat and it's much calmer on this side as there's no waves or anything. I feel like this is a much more relaxing side. The other side because it's like towards the open ocean and there's the surfers there and all that is much busier. I love it here! So when we were coming into the mount today, we noticed this absolutely gigantic half pipe. I can skateboard, but I'm not very well versed at skating massive half pipes, but I thought we have to come and check it out anyways. And this thing is gigantic. But I was just telling Rachel, I want to try and get good at skating these really, really big ramps. They're the most forgiving if you know how to fall on them. And you can continue skating till you're mu like much, much older. That's why you see a lot of older guys like skating big ramps and pools and stuff. Because if you have knee pads on and you know how to fall, you're way more forgiving on your joints than like hopping down a set of stairs all the time. In skateboard terms, I'm like middle-aged. <laughs> so I have to start taking care of my joints. This thing's much more my speed. <laughs> I did see a concrete skate park, so I wanna go check that out. I couldn't really see it from the road. Like I just saw the, like, the top of one ramp, so I have no idea what it looks like. It also doesn't come up on Google Maps. So if I didn't see it, I'd have no idea it was there. But it's just across the street, so maybe I'll go check that out. It's not an old park, so I don't know why it's all... Dude, I wanna skate this park so bad. Skate park all shut down? Huh? Ninth, bro, on the 9th. On the 9th it's yeah, open. Gotcha. Yeah, why was it why was it shut down? It wasn't actually open the other day. It was the promotion day. Gotcha. Oh, is it brand new? Yeah, like Oh, yeah, okay. Brand new stuff. Oh, like, that's okay. Yeah, Cuz I was trying to find it on like I was trying to find skate parks on Google Maps and yeah, this one didn't even come up. For like 5 years. Okay. Sick. Okay. Awesome. Cheers, man. Thank Sweet, you. Man. Yeah, you too. So after asking one of the tradies, who of course also skates, he just informed me that the park will be open either the 9th or the 29th. He wasn't sure, but it's brand new. That's why it didn't come up on Google Maps. This is gonna be awesome. All right, so as you can see by the bananas behind me, if you've been following along with our Instagram stories, you would know that our new house sit that we're actually staying at here has all this fresh fruit on the property. But we have returned back to our house sit. We are back home for the evening. I'm just so happy that we have moved to this region of New Zealand. It's so different than the South Island. And like I said earlier, don't get me wrong, we loved the South Island, but this is just such a different vibe and it feels like we're finally getting to like explore something new. Next week, we are actually heading to Auckland to see it for the first time because I've said this in in other videos before when we flew in we actually didn't ever even fly into Auckland we just flew straight in from Sydney to Queenstown so we haven't been to the city yet so stay tuned for that if you want to see that and we'll see you in the next video okay bye